If you think that you get more bitches than I get niggas, please. All I hear is boom, 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 boom. Baby, I was shaking in my goddamn boots. At this point, I'm scared because now he already, if I don't open the door, he already gonna know that something is up, bitch. And the plot thickens. My heart beats so goddamn fast, I think I'm thinking I'm gonna have a stroke. Do you hear me? If you're looking for a winner, looking for a ten, looking for supreme, looking for a Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back. Hey y'all, welcome back. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day with Shay. If you're new here, please be sure to hit the subscribe. I don't never mess up. You messing me up. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day with Shay. If you're new here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. But if you're OG, if you're part of the Greenwood gang, what it do? How are you? Okay, y'all. So today, I'm gonna be doing doing um my mini twist. I'm gonna be doing my hair basically and filming a story time. And this is a this is a story time on when I got caught cheating. <laughs> I wish y'all could have seen his face. I'm on Facetime with my boyfriend. This is a story time. About the time I got caught cheating. I'm gonna show y'all what products I'm using real quick before I get started. As y'all know, my name is Lachey. I'm the owner, founder, and CEO of The Main Attraction. We sell all natural hair care, skin care, and body care products. You can use code YouTube for money off, and the link will always be in the description box. So, okay, I went in and I deep conditioned with our deep conditioner. Can y'all see this? Yeah, I deep conditioned with our deep conditioner. I left it in for about an hour and a half. So right now, I'm about to be ready to do the lock method. I'm going to use our moisturizing leave-in conditioner, our stimulating growth oil, and then our twist and curl cream. So, yeah. All right, babe. What you got to say to the people? That's that shit right there. They got to get it. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, let me show y'all real quick the products I am going to be using. I may go live on Instagram, too. I mean, on TikTok, too. But, okay, so, for the lock method, and if you have curly hair, you already know about the lock method. It's a life saver. It keeps my hair moisturized for five to seven days. So, once I do this, I typically do it on Sundays, but it'll last me a good seven to ten days. Um, and you could, of course, blow dry your hair. If you would, you care about the length, you could blow dry it and then, like, moisturize and twist it. I don't care about the length. I like my shrinkage. It is what it is. It's going to happen. Healthy hair should shrink. So if it doesn't, then check on that. Shop for main attraction. For the lock method, you'll need, need a leave-in. And I'll switch between the two. I'll either go in with this moisturizing leave-in conditioner here or our hair growth moisture mist. So, I think I'm going to go with this one today. I may just spray my hair. Because I usually refresh my mini twist every two days. I'll just in the morning do a few spritz of this um so since i use this throughout the week i'm gonna just go ahead and use this so this is my leave-in this is my hair growth oil and i have two options for the cream i could even either use our shea butter baby hair butter or our twist and curl cream but i think i'm gonna do the twist and curl cream i've been loving this one a lot lately this one though the the moisture just kids it'll keep your hair moisturized for days okay but this one makes my curls so much more defined and fluffy and it smells really, really, really amazing. It smells like a lemon pound cake. I don't know. It's a tough decision, y'all. This is halfway gone. I just got a new one of these. I'm going to go with the Twist and Curl Cream. And I'm going to show y'all the texture difference real quick. So this is our hair growth butter. And this is a butter. Like a butter. Like a raw raw butter can y'all focus this like it's a butter it melts in your hand um so yeah i love this product so much but i've been using it so much i just try to switch up and then this is our twist and curl cream this is the consistency of it is light and fluffy also has shea butter but it's whipped um it's like a cream consistency so just depending on you whichever one i alternate between the two honestly before we get started i want y'all to leave me a comment if you're a female i thought like it's so taboo for women to cheat but when men cheat it's like expected and i don't expect it and i don't accept it so it is what it is my i don't 
I'm okay, so I cheated a handful of times, maybe about four or five times. Um, and y'all, I'm not a cheater anymore. Before y'all start with the comments, I'm not a cheater anymore, okay? I really just did it to prove a point. I be doing because, baby, you couldn't have been the only one thought if you think that you get more bitches than I get niggas, please. I had you not eat for three days, but okay. I'm gonna start off by sectioning into four. Okay, y'all, so I was with this guy, right? We're gonna call him Squid, because that's the first thing that came to mind. So I was, me and Squid were dating, we was in a relationship. Y'all, I thought this man was the love of my life. Like, I thought we were gonna get married and have babies, and thank God we did not, because God had bigger and better plans for me, baby. Not getting what you want is a blessing as well, ladies, so make sure you remember that. Period. Him, you know, me and Squid were together. Everything started out fine, you know. We're gonna fast forward, right? We're you don't need to know the the story of our whole relationship. And for for those that's wondering, it's not my current boyfriend. I just want to put that out there because y'all don't put it's not my current boyfriend. Okay, we are faithful. And we're we're that's my man. So me and Squid we were together a while. Even in high school, it was like little stuff, like him trying to hug or talk to his ex-girlfriends at school just little small stuff that mind you we were both versions at the time like i thought that i was so naive i literally kid you not thought that this was going to be the only man i ever did anything with in my life okay i thought that this i was going to marry this man i thought we were only going to be each other's we were each other's first and i want to say this no i'm not racist okay uh, and I know a lot of racist people say that before they prove that they're racist or show that they're racist. But I'm, I don't like to, I'm not racist. I have like white friends. I also know that white people say that when they be racist. Um, but y'all gotta get where I'm going with this. Period. One of somebody ended up telling me that he had slept with a white girl, right? And he did not use a condom. Whether he used a condom or not, he slept with a white girl. No offense if you're white, but... To be honest, I feel like if you like white girls, you don't like me. And so that really pissed me off. Like, I would never date, I ain't gonna say never, but never, date a black man that's into white women because we're just so completely different. Like, culturally different. Like, there's just so many differences. I, if you like white, you do not like me. Period. <laughs> Period. And, um, I've been, I, I've always been firm on it. That's like, I don't know. And I always say that I wanted a black man. I wanted to marry a black man so they can teach my, my black children, my black sons, how to be, be black men. A white man can't do that. A white man can shoot back at the police and they're going to make it out alive. A black man, if you so much as turn your neck the wrong way, you out of here. So I've always said that I wanted my the father of my children, my husband, to be a black man. Period. And so I'm very big on like black love and just big. I, I just never, it, it was hurtful to me because not only did you cheat, but you just cheated with somebody that doesn't even know or respect your culture. And then you nasty as hell because you over here having unprotected sex. So you're nasty. So you, you're grimy. So, I don't, I don't know what happened, y'all. This is gonna get so juicy. Ooh, I'm scared. I need a drink. I'm gonna drink after this. Don't worry about it. Because I know it's gonna be a lot of judgment coming, but it is what it is. I, one thing about me, I ain't scared of my truth. It's happened, and we're gonna move along. It was just very, I was disgusted. And then, they ran a train on a girl. I'm putting all the details out, baby. They ran a train on a girl. So, you out here embarrassing me in public, bitch. Okay, cool. So when I heard about it, I was like, nah, can't be, couldn't be. Who, me? Wouldn't be. So, I asked a girl, and it take her about a day to tell me. And mind you, this girl, she's gonna go. She's known to have trains ran on her. And if y'all aren't familiar with the train, it's when you have multiple sex partners at once, okay? This is what happened. So, the very first time oh do i should I tell them that i don't that one might be a little too juicy for y'all baby i might take y'all fast and see how y'all react comment down below if you want the the other time i had got caught cheating it's cool it's crazy like i swear to god i cannot make it up 
that's the other time that you know I cheated is wild now that is very much rated R so for all my grown folks if y'all want to if you're 18 or older comment down below if you want to hear about that I already know I'm gonna be judged for that it is what it is so I'm gonna take y'all I ain't gonna take y'all too fast on the first time cause I know y'all probably didn't expect this of me but bitch if you bark I'm gonna bark louder okay I bark I, I bark back okay I'm gonna cry for a little minute but then I'm gonna bounce back cause I made it like that I ended up meeting this guy, and we're going to call him Q, because that's his fucking name. <laughs> I ended up meeting this guy named Q in college. He lived, I lived, no, actually, this is my sophomore year. So he, because I moved into apartments, and I think I was in a, he, I was in building, like, seven, and he was in, like, building nine. And I'm not sure how we met. I don't remember. It happened so long ago. I don't remember how we met. I met so many people in college. But moral of the story is we met, right? And he was a vibe, you know. He was cool to hang out with and stuff like that. So we exchanged numbers. And then once I found out that my boyfriend, who was back home. And I'm, if y'all looking at, wondering what I'm looking at, I'm doing my hair in the mirror i'm not i could look here i mean college he wild in and you know he it got to a point where he was actually driving which was two hours away from my hometown he drove to my college every single day when he got off work like we were like that and he still was cheating so bitch i'm confused on how you had the time so since you got the time i'm gonna make time because get what the man live right here in my door in my in my apartment and do so like literally he cheated. I call him cheating. I don't even know. We can do story time because I don't think I ever talked about it. I went ballistic. I went crazy. So I'm the type like I'm going to make sure that you know I know. But guess what? It's going to keep you on your toes because you're going to always wonder if I got my lick back. Sometimes you'll find out. Sometimes you don't. That's just the reality of fucking with me. As time goes on, he's thinking I don't forgave him. We done broke up and got back together. But, oh, baby, I ain't, ain't gonna never forget. And let a man come along and treat me how I'm supposed to be treated. Oh, I'm gonna show you what to do. Uh, me and him, we start, me and the guy, me and Q, we started texting. And we talked, I went over there. I ain't gonna cap to you. We done, we never had intercourse. We never had, I never had intercourse with Q. Now, we were kissing and, you know, I, I was low-key, slickly, slick on the slick, falling, falling. I was falling in like with him. You know, I liked him. I was falling. I wasn't falling in love. I was falling in like Q was going in the um. He was in the shower and we had just got done kissing and stuff and watching the movie. He bought me food. We went to his apartment where my boyfriend was at the time. Don't know. Don't care. Um, but we, I was with Q chilling and and literally, I kid you not. Um, I went through his phone. And I seen some naked girl pictures. I turned up on him like he was my man, mind you. He Q knew at the time, but boys don't care. Men, they don't care. He knew that I had a boyfriend. He didn't care, like I said. He was still doing him, but I turned up on him. Cause baby, be faithful, be faithful to me while I got a man, please. Come on, already risking my life with you. So what you do? What you want? Um, I never saw myself with Q. He was just a fun time. Like I said, I had only been with one person at that time, so I was just trying to see what it, I was just trying to see what bitch was in the stick. That's what we're gonna keep it real. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it a hundred. We're gonna we're gonna keep it a hundred. I was trying to see what else was out there. So I, we were texting and we had got into this argument, me and Q. And so he was blowing me up. And I texted him. I said, Don't do not call me back. My boyfriend is on the way. Why he kept calling me and texting me? Mind you, I did leave his house angry. He tried to follow me at the apartment and I'm walking fast as fuck. And here I look back and here's food come chasing me, yelling at me like I'm his girl. And I'm like, babe, please come down for my boyfriend. Pull up. Now it was about Eight, mind you, my boyfriend he usually come between eight to ten. So I was confused, like I was low key scared. I'm like, baby, we do not meet in public. He was a sneakling before I knew what a sneakling was. And so he was like, calm down, I just want to talk to you, blah blah blah. And I was like, what? What you got to say to yourself? Q know he know what building I stay in, but he, I didn't tell him where apartment, right? I didn't tell him what apartment. And mind you, he know I had a boyfriend, but niggas be crazy. He he didn't care. He just wanted to know why I went. You know what I'm saying? Why why I was acting crazy, which he knew. Cause why you got naked girls in your phone? So my boyfriend ends up coming and now I gotta act calm. I'm mad as fuck. I gotta act calm cause my side dude over here getting noobs. Baby, 
I must have took too long in the bathroom. My boyfriend come knocking at the door. I done dro I almost dropped my goddamn phone in the tub. I'm just standing up. I ran my water. I locked the door in the bathroom. And he all I hear is boom, 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 boom. I'm like, what the fuck? What the police? What, what police here? And I was like, who is he? Like, what? And it was my boyfriend. He was like, shut up. Yo, who you talking to on the phone? Baby, I was shaking in my goddamn boots. Because I heard I had the water running, right? I had the water running. I heard I know the TV in my bedroom was on and I didn't think nothing of I thought he couldn't hear me. So I'm cussing this motherfucker out on the low, like, who the fuck is in your phone? Like I was like, who the fuck is in your phone in your phone? Why do you got naked bitches in your phone? And I guess he could hear part of the conversation. She was like, open this motherfucking door right now. I was like, okay. Baby, when I say I was scrambling like a motherfucking stripper trying to delete all them messages out, do you hear me? I deleted as many out as I could. I hung up, I was like, my boyfriend here don't call me back. This motherfucker don't give a fuck, bro. He keeps calling, he keeps texting. I'm like, baby, what calm down? At this point, I'm scared because now he already, if I don't open the door, he already going to know that something is up. Let me take y'all back. So while my boyfriend's pounding on the door, yelling at me to open the door, I text him, my boyfriend's here, he about to get my phone, don't text me back. This bitch texts back IDGAF. I didn't see the IDGAF until after my boyfriend had my phone. So the man is calling me blocked, right? The man is calling me blocked. So my boyfriend is at the time, Squid is like, who is this calling you blocked? Like what nigga call, you got calling you blocked? I'm like, what are you talking about, baby? I'm gay. I'm just playing. Dude keep calling nonstop, baby. He called twice. I'm dragging, I'm calling, I'm acting like he done call me get the little time. But the first time, my boyfriend, he just asked me, who is this, who is this calling you blocked? And I'm like, baby, I don't know. They probably got the wrong number. So the second time, he answered, he was like, who the fuck is this? So Q's on the phone, but he don't say anything, right? I'm in distress. Bitch, pimp the fuck down. I'm fucking, my heart beats so goddamn fast, I'm thinking I'm finna have a stroke, do you hear me? I'm pacing back and forth like I don't, can't find a cigarette, bitch, I don't even smoke cigarettes. I'm just frantic. And so my boyfriend knew what up, cause I ain't good at hiding it, baby. I done got caught red-handed. Which I honestly shouldn't give a fuck, cause bitch, you out, here, you out here having sex, unprotected sex. I was like, you the one that cheated first and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, before we get to that point, he checked the messages. So he goes to my messages immediately, right? Once the dude ain't saying nothing, he go to my messages and he see the IDGAF. And he said, who the fuck is this? I said, baby, I don't know. I'm trying to get my phone back, bitch. We in here tussling. We in here tussling like WWE. He ended up calling Q back, but not from my phone. He called him from his phone, bitch. And the plot thickens. So he called Q from his phone. He got my phone. I'm reaching over him, trying to get my phone and stuff. I'm just annoyed at this point. Like, I'm damn near in tears. I'm mad. I done got caught. Cause, baby, I was trying to get, I was trying to cry. I was trying to creep for a little bit longer. Like, wait, I'm just trying to do you better than you do you. So, um, I got caught. I was pissed because I was trying to learn the game. This is my first time learning the game. And obviously, I didn't have a good teacher. So, <laughs> man from this phone, he was like, hey, bro, um, who is this? And then Q on the phone, like, who is this? You called me. And then he was like, I just seen your number in my girl phone. And Q was like, who is your girl? And then he was like, Lachey, and then um, Q started laughing. My blood pressure getting high because I need to quit telling these stories times. But Q started laughing, bitch, and that takes it to the next level. I, it takes it to the next level. So they going at it. I only remember the story because I'm, I'm going in and now. I can't believe this shit happening to me. I feel like I'm in a twilight zone. I feel like I'm in a movie, bitch. So I can't really function. All I'm hearing is these two motherfuckers go back and forth, and then the motherfucker must have said, come outside. <sighs> he said, oh, come outside. Q said, yeah, come outside. This motherfucker, this crazy motherfucker. Don't mind you, I'm in building seven, right? I'm in building seven, this man is in building nine. This crazy motherfucker goes outside with my phone. And he yelling at the phone like people think he pro people probably thought he was on drugs or something. He was like, where the fuck you at, weak ass, whatever. And bitch, I couldn't find my shoes. I'm going in here getting my roommates. I'm, I'm like, 
But come help me. This man that got my phone, he trying to go fight this man outside. Q didn't ever come outside. He was just talking shit. He was laughing because he really ain't got nothing to lose. Like, I want his girl at the end of the day. He was just having fun. And so, he taking shit a joke, just amplifying it. And then they end up hanging up, thank God. He never came outside. Um, He never came outside, thankfully, because they could have went left. But I was pissed because now not only does he know that I'm cheating, he knows that I'm cheating on someone in my building or at my apartment complex. We arguing all fucking night, baby. Like, all, when I tell you all night, all night. He started crying and throwing stuff and getting mad. It was a lot. You cheated on me first. So what you, what you expect me to do? It's so toxic. He never put his hands on me, but like, well... He didn't hit me, but he would do like this thing to where he would squeeze me really fucking hard. So like, let's say, I wish I had somebody here to demonstrate, but right, like, we would tussle, bitch, and I'm, it's, I'm toxic at this point, like, cause I'm sick of your bullshit. So we, we go, like, we're at it, right? We, we at it. He not hitting me, but he would like grab me and like squeeze me super hard and like bend me and stuff like that. Oh, peace. Because I can't stand it. Don't grab me. All I can say is, thank God that man did not come outside. That's how I got caught cheating. And then he was like, yeah, you're going to have to get your number changed. I have to get my number changed. Fuck you. Like once we did that break, after he found out I was talking to Q, he came every day. He tried to make stuff better, allegedly. But the whole time he was still doing him. So guess what? The whole time I continue to still do me. Comment down below before we continue. If you've ever cheated, um, I know a lot of people are like, you don't never cheat, but I mean, I've never cheated, which, you know, I'm not condoning cheating. I think that if you're unhappy, you should leave, but I was at a place in my life where I was really comfortable. Like, this person was all I knew, um, and we were together for a really, really, really long time, and I didn't want to be at school by myself because, like, because, because of him, I didn't meet many friends because we were always together on, like, the weekend, and... You know stuff like that he would come down every weekend and we would just spend our time together so i never really got out and got a good had a good college experience i mean i had a good college experience but it wasn't like what it could have been and i didn't meet as many people as i could have so freshman year i was like lovey-dovey sophomore year she was falling apart junior year i was an emotional wreck senior year it was very tough i moved back home because i was battling like depression like i ain't gonna say depression but i was very very sad and like we ended up breaking up my senior year so yeah, I moved back home. But, yeah, y'all. I'm not going to say... Am I going to say I'm prime cheating on him? Yeah, because he taught you, bitch, don't play with me. Play with your mom. Literally, play with your mom. I be trying to let karma do her thing, but sometimes they bitch be taking too long, so I just be trying to help her out. I think her, G her GPS stopped working or something because she be forgetting where the fuck I be at. I be like, bitch, are you going to pull up? And she just be ignoring me. If you like this story time, you want to hear more about my cheating stories, like either him cheating or me cheating, or like any crazy in store. Because after him, I ch I was with this other guy, bitch, and I done caught him. And girl, I've been through some stuff. Do you hear me with these niggas? It was nothing compared to what he did to me. Like once I knew that he didn't give a fuck about me, oh it's up. You ain't gotta show me twice, and I'm not the type that's gonna sit around and cry. I'm gonna cry for about five minutes, but then I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you like a dog. So that's why I be telling people like, especially like I be telling niggas, make sure that you more player than me. Cause once I learned the game from him, it's it's, it's been a wrap ever since. It's been up. And make sure you get more play than me. Cause bitch, your chest, I'm gonna leave you, your, you ain't gonna be able to breathe. I've had this discussion. I know that men can't take cheating like women can. Do y'all think that you can fully forgive people for cheating and like? Comment down below your experience. Have you ever been able to fully 100%? I'm talking never think about it, never bring it up again, never, you know what I'm saying? Cheating. Like, for me, I don't know. I feel like it would always be in the back of my mind, but I don't have to worry about that anymore. And shout out to Destiny Brooks. Destiny, I hope you watch this video, because baby, she taught me when we was in like 6th, 7th grade to have more than one nigga and I should have listened I'm like no I'm gonna be faithful like these niggas are faithful to me I'm never gonna do that oh my god such a whore alright but in reality I just became more like Lori like after that situation I just been on to the next like I see one red flag and I'm done like I wasn't really giving people the time of day like that like cause it's like I've already been there done that in my younger years I'm not gonna play cheating tag like I'm not gonna sit here and get cheated on I'm not gonna waste my time cheating back I'm gonna just leave 
and bitch you can just miss me for the rest of your life so because you'll never find nobody else like me and you're gonna look for me and every single person that you're gonna get with and it's never gonna be the same you're gonna long for me every day you're gonna think about me every day you're gonna reach out to me every day and i'm gonna be moved on living my best fucky life i done got caught cheating with q about two or three times uh, the second time I got caught cheating, he was bringing me, he had brought me some food. I forgot to delete the messages. He went through my phone, baby. I done tried to save it under a girl name. But mind you, he had Q's number from the first incident that I just told y'all about. He had his number, like a fucking creep. But I get it. But he had Q number, so I saved Q name as a girl name. I don't even remember the girl name, to be honest with you. But, and um, when he see him text me out, I was like, oh, this is a girl from school, blah, blah, blah. We got a project together, baby. Just lying. And so, um, one day, he ended up asking me, he was like, you forgot your ice. Because I, he, he used to, we used to go to cookout and eat, or like Zach's cookout, I think was the only place. Cookout or Sonic or somewhere and eat. And he would take me to get ice. Like, I really love to eat ice. And he was like, you forgot your ice in my truck, you want to bring it to you. Bitch, and that's how I got called sick tank. I got called sick tank. So that's why I'm like, at this point, like, I got to a point to where if I ain't happy, I'm just going to leave. Cause you ain't going to stress me out. And I don't understand why men don't stay single so you can do what you want to do. Like, I don't understand that concept. Like, why not just stay single? I, I never got it. Especially now that we're older. Like, younger, okay, cool, because it's cute. You want to have a girlfriend. You want to have a boyfriend. So I understand. But, like, now that we're grown, like, ew. Who, Ew. I ain't staying nowhere I want to be, period. Whew. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to come back and show y'all the final results of my mini twist whenever I finish. But that's all I'm tired of talking. Comment down below if you want to hear more story times. Because I have story for days. Okay, y'all, I did end up going on live. I'm still live on TikTok right now. But this is how my twist came out. And like I say, I don't part my hair because I don't really care about the parts. It's just a particular style from throughout the week because I do work out four days a week. So I just be needing something that's out the way and quick. And it's very easy for me to oil my scalp. I did go in and oil my scalp with um the main attraction stimulating growth oils. So I am good. And yeah, this is how it's looking. Okay. As I always say, you could have been anywhere but you chose to be here with me. And for that, I thank you. Always remember to take it easy and love yours. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.